our team had gone through some major changes. Some team members had left and we had a new manager. We felt a bit lost and wanted to refocus. Our manager suggested we use Appreciative Inquiry to build our team. This would be done by a series of meetings and discussions using the 5D process. The whole team got together to decide on what we were aiming to achieve. This was the definition phase. We decided we wanted a team that engaged well with each other, make sure our organisation knew what we did and why it was important, and to connect with our community of stakeholders. We were a team of community workers, so we spent much of our time in the field working with the community. We also wanted to represent our organisation in the best possible way. We summarised our aim as to engage with each other, our organisation, our community and to be ambassadors for our organisation. We met a week later to discover as much as we could about our team. We split into pairs and asked each other the following questions. Think back to a time when you felt the team was effective, a time when the team accomplished great things, a time when you felt fulfilled. What made the team so good? What was your contribution to the success? What is it about you that added to the success? We met back in a group and discussed what we'd found out. The first things we discovered was that we had a lot of strengths that we hadn't noticed before. We knew we were respected by the community we worked with. We were very proud of the times we'd worked with the community to achieve an outcome for the community. Sometimes these were small projects, other times they took a long time, but each one was important. These successes also reflected positively on our organisation. We were very proud of a time when we hosted a regional forum. We had all worked hard to make it work. It was one of the most powerful and successful of these forums. All of us had used our skills to bring it together. If there was a gap, someone would step up to fill the gap. At our next meeting, we reviewed what we discovered. It was time for us to dream what it could be like in the future, in a year's time. We worked as a group and discussed the questions. It's one year from now and the team is even more successful than you imagine. What are people doing to make it different? What does this look like? How did you make it all happen? We tried to put as much detail into our dream. We saw a team where we all partnered with each other on projects. We knew each other's strengths and passions and harnessed these to make our work more successful. We had the best relationship with our community. People felt free to come to talk to us about things they wanted to achieve and we always had our door open to them. Our organisation's reputation had grown in the community. It is now seen as a go-to organisation to get things done. Our colleagues see what we do and come to us to help them communicate better with the community. We are respected by others in our organisation. We had changed our focus to a more outward facing focus. We stopped being afraid of the community and what issues they might bring to us. We now saw this as an opportunity for partnership and change. We saw that change could be positive and not negative. We made all this happen by spending time with our stakeholders and reflecting on what we had learned from this time and the work we were doing up our management chain. Our communication had changed. At our next meeting, we worked on the design part of the cycle. During this meeting, we combined what we'd discovered with our dreams. We had already uncovered so many strengths we hadn't realised we had, and discovered at the core of what we did was communication and engagement, not only with our community stakeholders, but also our organisation. We had dreams of what our future could look like. The first thing we did was develop this information into a shared vision to deliver high level engagement and communication with each other, our organisation and our community. The questions we now wanted to discuss were, what do we need to reach this vision? What will change in the team will be added to the team to achieve this vision? What strategies do we need to get there to make it a reality? How do our gifts, skills, talents and passions add to this vision of the future? To reach this vision, we knew we needed to discover what were the strengths, passions, skills and interests of team members. We had never taken the time to really find out what team members already had that could be used to strengthen our team. We recognised that although we engage with the community and others, we could do with some training and engagement techniques. We had learnt what we knew from being on the ground, but there was so much more we could learn. We also realised 
that we needed to be more open with our community of stakeholders. Our door had to be always open for discussion, issue raising and planning. We had to increase the time we spent with stakeholders and spend time in listening conversations so we could really hear what they were saying. We needed patience. We needed to report up more frequently what we were doing and publicise our successes to senior management and our colleagues. Finally, we needed to celebrate our wins more often. Now we had enough to start. At our next meeting, we worked on the delivery or destiny of the team. We planned our actions from the immediate to the longer term. We listed the steps we needed to achieve our dream and design. We did this as co-creation. All ideas were accepted and we moved forward together. We put all these actions in a plan. We now review the plan at every team meeting. Everyone is responsible for delivering on the actions. After each action is achieved, we meet to discuss what we had further discovered, and then we add that to our plan. Our manager reminded us to tell him if he was getting in the way of progress. He championed what we were doing up the management chain. We are only a little way into this, but already our team is working closer together. We've got training planned on engagement in the next few weeks. Everyone in the team is excited about achieving our dream, and we've already had some success.